drug abuse, you know, since this um, service started this morning. What is your take on the series of events and occurrences regarding drug abuse recently in the country? What do you think about it? Do you think it is not your business? After all, it's not in your household. After all, your children are not involved. You brought them up in the fear of God. They are Christians. And so you think this has nothing to do with you. But I'd like to tell you something this morning. It has everything to do with you. Everything. Now, in 2016, there was a report that 40% of Nigerian youths are involved in drug abuse. That was 2016. And in 2017, a year after, the report is that about half a million bottles, that means 500,000 bottles of codeine are consumed by young Nigerians with the same intake of tramadol, rofinol, marijuana, and other opioids. This may still be your business. But today, about 3 million bottles of codeine is consumed on a daily basis. Now, the United Nations did a survey and discovered that 100% of this drug abuse 69% is on tramadol and 21% is on codeine. Now, this is an alarming trend that is steadily destroying our families and creating an army of zombies. It is creeping into our society. It's already damaging so much more than you think is involved. That if you do nothing about it, if you say nothing about it, even our so-called Christian kids in the home, how are you even sure that your child is not involved in one form of drug abuse or the other? Do you really know that child? Do you go everywhere with your child? See, this issue of drug abuse is our business. And it has to do with us. What is the future of a country where more than half of its youth are involved in drug abuse? I ask you that question this morning. Yes, it's good to have good roads. It's good to have electricity, infrastructure, and everything in place. But of what use is good road and power? when there is no peace. Of what use is infrastructure when you can't sleep with your two eyes closed? This issue of drug abuse has to do with everyone else. And we all have a part to play in this. What is drug abuse? Drug abuse is the safe administration of drugs beyond the normal prescribed limit. When you're taking a drug not as prescribed, you are involved in drug abuse. Sadly, we have more of the things and the youth involved in this, but the men and women are not left at even hold men. The time you have an headache and you are asked to take paracetamol, one gram, and then you choose to take four tablets instead of two, you're already involved in drug abuse. As a matter of fact, some persons will say, two does not work for me. That's before or eight. I've been taking it. It's not today, it started. So just let me take the four or eight. That's what will make me okay. You're already involved in drug abuse. It's not just the one carrying tramadol or the one carrying codeine. You're also involved. Now, there's something about drug abuse that if it is not curbed, it gradually becomes drug addiction. 
And drug addiction is characterized by a compulsion to take drugs on a steady basis in order to experience the mental effect of it. And once it's one is already addicted to a drug, <coughs> it becomes which will give rise to emotional, physical, psychological, social, economic instability. And this is very distressing and is extremely awful. Has a degrading consequence on our society. A lot of drugs are abused today. The likes of, in fact, any substance that when it is ingested, it gives a euphoric feeling or a feeling of being high can result in abuse today. We have the likes of codeine, tramadol, um, codeine containing syrups, of course, tramadol, we have rofinol, and then we have alcohol, marijuana, cannabis, and all other types of opioids that people are taking today. Recently, I was speaking with someone and he drew my attention to something because we were talking about this drug abuse issue. And he said, what do you think today that you see a young man and a young woman holding a bottle of soft drink for so long, more than five hours, six hours? Do you think they are just taking soft drink? I was marveled. They go and check. There is coding. So you see a young lady or a young guy today holding a bottle of soft drink, you know, cheerfully and just sipping it gradually. I think they are taking soft drink. Meanwhile, they are being submerged in drugs. This is the reality of today. Recently, the wife of the president, um, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, went to Kano and discovered something that most of the ladies, the females, teens and youths are involved in drug abuse and she raised an alarm. And up to today, we are yet to see performance towards that regard. BBC did a survey in Kano and discovered that seven out of ten youths are involved. What did they do? Taking cops the rubs. When was the last time you checked your child's bag? You as a parent who has a teen or a youth in the house. When was the last time behind the back you went to do a search on their room? Oh, come on. Yes, I know youth can be so smart today and they will leave no trace. But have you been observing the behavior of that child lately? Is he still interested in his school? Is he still interested in his work? Is he even interested in life? What are you doing as a parent? This issue is sucking us so deeply that if we do nothing about it, we would have been consumed by the time our hearts would be opened. I just pray that that is not our portion. Therefore, I want to say to you this morning, this issue is our responsibility and it begins from the church. This is the right place to talk about this because we have such use in our midst, even inside the church. Even inside the church today, you still see youths in drugs. There is no exemption anywhere. This has nothing to do with denomination. It has nothing to do with tribe. It has everything to do with every one of us. Therefore, this morning, this is an awakening call to everyone to rise up to this challenge and join in this campaign against drug abuse. Because sooner or later, you will be affected by it. Therefore, this morning, we are standing not just as a church or as a denomination, but we are standing as Nigerians 
to plead to the government. We know that this service is recorded live all over the world. So we are pleading to our government to please allocate considerable, you know, budgetary um, amounts for effective anti-drug campaign. And please equip the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency so that they can do their jobs perfectly. The police is not left out in this fight. It is the responsibility of police to restore sanity and order for the citizens. Therefore, we are calling on the Nigerian police force to act fast on this issue that is killing us gradually. And the health care theme is not left out in this campaign. Where are the nurses? Where are the doctors? Where are the pharmacists? Where are the social workers? This is our fight. Where are the doctors who give prescriptions even without considering the effects of those prescriptions? Where are the nurses who administer drugs without the regulation of Dangerous Drug Act? Where are our social workers who are bad on victims who are already addicts? We're calling on everybody. And finally, we are calling on the family because a functional society is a product of a functional family. And it begins from the family. It's time for parents to wake up to this call. It's time for you to do something about this. We need adequate parental supervision. Please, parents, this is your call this morning. It's time for you to raise youths, you raise your things and teach them self-esteem. Some of them go in because of the feeling of inadequacy and just feel they want to belong. But there's no, nobody to talk to them about it. Parents, it's not enough to give your child sex education. It's not enough to give your child academic education. It's not enough to give your child financial education. It's not even enough now to give your child moral education. You need to give your child drug education. It is very, very important. Because if you do not do it, you'll get the wrong message outside. And by the time you'll be crying for help, it may take so long for an answer to come. And what about the youths who are mostly involved in this? We are calling on the youths. Take up this challenge. And join in this campaign against drug abuse. Tramadol coding is not a diet. It is not a part of our diet. You may be feeling so high. You may be feeling so good. But it's having a detrimental effect on you. Why don't you wake up and seek help? We have our social medias and every other angle. It's a fight against drug abuse. And we can succeed if we put our hands together and enhance this campaign. Thank you. Hello, doctor. Can I get the drama doll for the road?